Hello, this is Cass Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! We're on the final stretch, folks, which means episode length is just gonna go way up, probably. Um, anyway, we're here at Mystia, which, by the way, was not destroyed, so you know that's nice. Um, and we're about to enter the the penultimate dungeon which chains directly into the ultimate dungeon. Uh, before that though, there is one or two things I need to mention. All of which are on this screen. Um, first of all, Leon is left-handed, so I had these backwards before. Just, you know, a small thing, but important. Second of all, what is the second of all? Um, right. I sold off a lot of my stuff. This was like twice as long before. Why did I sell off all my stuff? Because elixirs. I have 20 of them. Yay, I also have this stuff, but... I didn't need to sell off my stuff to buy this. I sold off all that extra stuff, first of all, because it's just taking up space, and I needed to do that for a while, to be honest. But also because it bought me four more elixirs than I would have otherwise had. So I don't have much money left, but yeah, that's a thing. And now that that's taken care of, to the place where we're going, the Jade Passage. Which I don't think you can exit without teleport, but as we've since determined, that's not really a big deal. Cool. The Jade Passage. Oh hey, also, one more thing before I forget. I looked up the numbers on the Masamune, and apparently it's just playing the strongest weapon in the game. Like, not even just the strongest sword, the strongest weapon, period. Salamanders. Salamander, Salamander, Flare. Yeah. But, yeah, so if you do want to feel like writing a code, you can just get a whole bunch of the strongest weapon in the game and just probably wipe game with it, if we're being honest. It is really powerful. It is like 50% stronger than the Excalibur, which is the second strongest weapon in the game. So yeah, that's a pretty big difference. Pretty big. Man, they hit him for like 300 damage. That seems like a lot to me. I mean, arguably it isn't, but it seems like a lot. It feels like a lot. Hmm. Well, whatevs. Man. If only, not you. If only I had been using agility from the beginning, I would probably have maxed out agility. Oh well. Um. Right. Now then, there's one thing I want on this floor, and I'm pretty sure it isn't through any doors. I hopefully don't need to go through any doors at all, but, well, we'll see. Let's see, these probably have about a thousand HP. No, slightly more than that. 1400. Okay. Good to know. And Flare is hitting pretty hard now, so that's good. Very good. Now, if only I could hit a little. Wait, 16? That is maxed out. And it actually hit Leon fair, relatively hard. I'm pretty sure he's not immune. That's because he doesn't have any fire resistant equipment. At least I think everyone else does. I don't know, let's check. Uh, 
Uh, ice shield. Uh, ice gloves. Uh, well, Guy doesn't have fire resistant equipment, but he does have the highest spirit. And nope, none. Okay then, glad we determined that. Let's see. It. Hmm. Oh god, not these again. There is way more than eight eyes on that. Ew. Or, well, wait. Is heck? Yeah. I'm... No, no. Oct is eight. What is heck? Whatever. It, whatever number it is trying to... Oh, well, no, it's hecked, so it's six. Still, there's way... If there's more than eight, then there's more than six. So, yeah. These things just kind of gross me out. There's no other way to really put it. But hey, under 1200 HP, that's good. That is good. Do they have MP? That's a good thing to check. I mean, I do have the 9 and the Eaters, but I still- yeah, they do. I still prefer to use the renewable type, even when I don't need it. Yeah, way to dispel all those buffs, dude. Okay, now. There is one item on this floor that I want. I hope this is it. It is not. That is junk. It's the sort of junk I've already sold. Oh well. Okay, uh, oh. Shoot. Um. You know what? Screw it. The thing I was looking for was the diamond mace, which I think is the best staff. It's best or second best. But I don't have anyone who uses staff, so I just don't care. Because I want to try to make this episode under 40 minutes long. Um, on this floor, there is also one item we care about. It is also an item I won't actually be using, but, oh god. They haven't used, used Bad Breath on me yet, but that doesn't mean they won't start. Um, what was I saying? Right. This one is also something I won't actually use, but but I think it's a lot more interesting than the Diamond Mace, and will probably be less out of the way. Um, so, there you go. Ah, uh, is this it? It is not. It's more garbage. Okay, now, is it up here? Mm, no, this has got to be it. That is not it. Shoot. Crap, damn. Okay, so, I just realized, Blaze, and by extension other magic later on, so I'm gonna need to watch out for that, is doing more damage to Leon because he has less magic defense. These guys all have 10 with various ratios. He's got three. So yeah, that's that's not good. Oh, by the way, since I'm in here anyway, one of the things was, while I was looking up the weapon ratios, I was also looking up uh, the, some of the defensive ratios, not all of them, but some of them. And the reason these guys have higher magic defense than Leon here, or Leon, well, yeah, then Fury on here is because the black robe and the white robe both give 20%, whereas the power vest does not. So yeah, that's a mystery solved. Um, <laughs> anyway, I need to do this. Ah, good enough. Okay, now where's that stupid box that I... Is this it? Man, this has got to be it. We're running out of boxes on this floor, so... 
Yep, that's it. The cat claws. The best dagger, which is actually a cat claw for some reason. Also, dragon! This is a lightning dragon. Just so you know, blue means electricity. As opposed to white, which is ice. Um, it is weak against... Well, none of these. It's weak against Scourge. However, what I find it is also generally pretty weak against is... Sword. So let's use some sword <laughs> to kill it. Yeah, that just happened. It actually does have quite a bit of HP though, and pretty high defense. So if I had my Scourge grinded up more, it would actually be probably worthwhile to use that instead of Sword. <laughs> but I don't, so it isn't. Let's do that, because why not? Honestly, I should- oh, and then it died. Okay, it had a lot of HP, but let's be fair, I, my Berserk is still kind of just ridiculous. Um, anyway. I should probably just use Spam Holy with Guy at this point, but... Ah, well. I'm not going to. It's... well, it's not really worth it. He probably does about... he's not... Let's try the game. He's probably not going to surpass the damage of his axe with it, so I may as well just keep him auto attack. What? Speaking of dragons, wow. Um, wow. Didn't see you coming, but I can still blink. Probably didn't need Berserk, but I don't know how much HP it has. And I, it can probably screw me up with physical attacks. So, Berserk. And, for that matter, Blink. Really, I just needed the Blink. Come to think of it. Oh well. Whatever. No big loss. Gonna use Protect, not because I need to, but because... Spell levels. And it's dead. Okay, um, I'm guessing up here. Yep. Now, there's a box on this floor that has something that I want, and I don't actually know what it is for certain. I have a good guess of what? Sons of bitches! They just... Okay, well, don't worry. This is why I have 99. This is exactly the reason I have 99 <laughs> ethers. It is fixable. Pretty easily, actually. I don't even need that MP. I just wanted to deny them MP so they can't use Osmos some more. Man. That's just wow. That caught me off guard, that's for sure. Mega Parasite! And now we know why it's Mega. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't actually know what the item on this floor is. The guide that I'm using for the item locations, because I don't remember them all. Or, well, yeah. How would I? Just seriously. I don't play this game enough to rem remember them. Um, right. But anyway, the guide I'm using so it has a error where it doesn't actually tell me what's in the box. But I know it's there, and I know it's something I want. So, you know, that'll be interesting to find out. I suspect it'll be some a certain thing, which 
I'll tell you whether or not I'm correct in my suspicion when the when I get it. Uh, well, it'll be a surprise for the all of us. Yep, the all of us. Just like the Osmos surprise attack Osmos bullshit was. Um. Oh, hey. Speaking of surprises, waterfall. I don't know why I went in here. I knew, I knew, but I did it anyway. Right, so anyway, the waterfalls. These are, oddly enough, da damage floors. Only, yeah, I don't get it. Well, I do sort of get it. You're walking under a waterfall. That's probably unpleasant. Well, I actually know that thing about it more. That's, this sort of makes sense. Anyway, Abyssal Worm? Okay, well, I know the gr all the great Malibu does is hit me, because, you know, apparently this is before the Malibu learned how to kill you, but I don't know what a worm does, so it's probably a safe choice for a first target. Of course, this is does not tell me what the worm actually does. Did not think that went all the way through, maybe. But, you know what? It probably would have, like, I don't know, used Quake or something. Nothing out. Something I wouldn't have wanted to deal with anyway. So, probably the better choice. Probably. Did I just fail to kill all of them? I did. That is kind of sad. But. On the flip side, now they're mostly dead. The both of them. And now they're all the way dead. Even better. I can probably afford more elixirs now. Yep. I think I have enough money for two? I don't remember if... I think it's 50,000. It might have been 500,000 though, in which case I don't have enough money for any of them. I don't remember. You don't know, it was 50,000. Oh, well, yeah, so I do have enough money for two more elixirs now. <laughs> well, that's something that's not gonna pan out, because I'm not leaving. Nine, nine, nine. That's not the damage limit in this game, but it kind of looked like it for a second there, didn't it? Hmm. Well, whatever. Yes, that's what I'd like to see, and it didn't kill it. Yeah, these definitely have 1400 HP. Definitely, probably. Gonna need to heal Leon after this. Actually, let's do it in this, cause why not? Cause why not? I think it heals more this way anyway. Oh. And then that happened, so I'm doing it out of battle anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, continuing we are. Um, box. There's the box. I think this is the only item on this floor, actually. Like, at all. So, you know, that's... good. Now we just need to kill the Mega Parasites before they can use Awesome Host. And we're good! And it's not dead. Let's use this, cause I- wait, did these have MP or not? I don't remember. Well, I guess I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out. Or- or not, cause I could've just killed them all. You know, either way. Now, box. Aha! It was in fact what I suspected. The Ruin Axe, which is the best axe in the game. Which is part of the reason we don't aren't grinding up holy, cause well, axe upgrade. It, like most of the Axe King Behemoth, right. Um, now this guy has a lot of HP, which I said for the last one as well. But this guy has like this guy has a lot of HP in the standards of if I was didn't have OP Berserk, it would probably be worthwhile to use the blood sword against him. That's how much HP he has. A lot. Um. 
that said, I do have OP Berserk powers, so let's use them. I think all he does is physical attack, although he's really good at it, even by, um, even by trap boss standards. It also has pretty high defense, like, the, actually I think the defense, no, no, I may have spoken too soon. Oh, well, its defense is higher. Wait, is it higher? You know it doesn't matter. Its defense is in the same ballpark as the dragon. But I'm gonna just kill it with, you know, excessive sword powers. <laughs> just like I do all the bosses. Oh, this is such an overpowered strategy. And you missed. 4,000 damage, you see? You see? I just dealt 4,000 damage without killing it. And this will probably kill it, though. Oh no, it's still barely alive. Seriously, seriously. It has 5,000 HP. It has like 100 left right now. So, you know, that's a thing. Let's try to Osmos it. I don't think it has any MP, but let's do it anyway. Because why not? Also, a game, because why not? Oh yeah, now it's dead. Like, that thing- Yochi's bow? Really? By the way, I looked this up, and I think I said it before, but this is, is the most powerful bow, and I have like two or three of them. But I don't have anyone who uses bows. And that- that bow, like this axe, like most, but not all, of the... Swords are just like overpowered in this game. <laughs> The be most of the best weapons have a base power of 90. The Excalibur has a base power of 100. Uh, I think the Cat Claw is 80 something. And the Masamune is 150. I meant it when I said that the Masamune and Okay. That the Masamune is just the best weapon in the game, and by a massive margin at that for that matter. It's kind of ridiculous it how good it is. But I guess the trade-off for that is grinding to 16 levels uh, on any spell, let alone toad. Which actually, to be fair, if you had a 16th level toad, you can probably toadify anything that is vulnerable to it pretty easily. Because that's sort of how it works. The higher the level on instant death spells, the more... Well, that's how all spells work, really. Spell... Okay, so spells in this game? The way they work... Because, you know, one of the last episodes, Penultimate Dungeon, good time to explain basic mechanics. But the way the spells work in this game is... Each level in the spell you have, it basically is another cast for that spell. So if you have 10 magic defense, like, guy here, that means that he has the potential to dodge 10 levels worth of spells. But if it's, say, a level 16 spell, then it has 6 casts that are guaranteed to hit him if they don't have atrocious hit rates like most instant death spells do. However, 10 is about as high as these things usually go. Usually. Like, barring extraordinary circumstances. Which means that... If you have a lo level 18... Why did I walk under here? Oh! It's the secret shop! I forgot about this. This is where you can buy all of the best spells in the game. <laughs> But it doesn't matter because I got drops for all of them. Well, except for Flare, but I'm not grinding that up. So yeah, that's there. I completely forgot about that. Um, right. So, spell mechanics. But yeah, so, in other words, you basically need to outpower the, their magic defense by several levels in order to, you know, con make contact with those sort of spells. Um... That said, 
my defenses in general, at least in terms of percent chance, if if not um, the number of dodges I get, are way higher than almost any enemy has. Uh, I don't know which door to take. Not that one. So, as I was saying, enemies also tend to have... They tend to be stacked in a way that they have a great disparity on magic defense, so they have a lot of stacks of magic defense, but a low chance, and very low evasion, because instead of having physical evasion, they tend to just have a massively huge physical defense instead, which works for them because they can do it, and which is why it doesn't work for us, <laughs> pretty much. Um. Anyway, we are on floor four, which has a whole lot of stuff we care about on it. Like, I don't even know, think there's any... Well, there's probably one. But, yeah. I will say, because I don't know whether we'll run into it, and if it's the last one, I'm not going to bother grabbing it. One of the boxes is a Yoshi's Boat, which I already have two of, which is why I'm not going to find it if I miss it. Um, all the other, th the other three things, though, I do want, so we'll track those down. Even though I'm not going to get much use out of them. <laughs> oh well. And wow, Leon is poisoned and sleeping? When the hell did that happen? Is that just from, like, taking a physical attack? Maybe. Hmm. Go figure! Go figure. And they really hate Leon. <laughs> Whatever, not my problem! And wow, look at all that money. Okay, so, let's see. There's a box. Damn it! So there is junk on this floor, that's good to know, I guess. By the way, backtracking a little bit on my discussion, but the reason that, well, actually, the reason that Leon has a sword is just because I didn't feel like thinking of, of anything better to put on him, let's be honest here. However, the reason I have to actually justify that, that makes sense, beyond just feeling like it, is that the Excalibur is still better than literally every other ultimate weapon. Except for the Masamune, which is another sword. So, it is actually still the best possible weapon for, group for him to be in. Keep in mind that Maria is sticking with the Defender, because she actually only uses the sword for defense. Um, also, hey, these are new. And did it just use Fire 10 on me? I think it did. Like, okay? I don't know, enemy magic in general is just sort of la totally laugh-offable in this game. And even if I had heavy armor, it was st I would still be laughing it off, because heavy armor provides pretty good magic defense. It makes your evasion negligible, if not zero, but it makes gives you decent magic evasion. <laughs> And Vampire Lady. Haven't seen one of them in a while. Have seen Killer Mantis pretty recently though. Have indeed. Like what am I doing still seeing these? And I think I need to start walking into doors now, so that kind of sucks. Okay then. Oh wait. Yoshi's bow, of course. Man, is that just like really? Like really? Am I even on the r floor? I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. This is a trap. I didn't think this one was trapped. What a ripoff. I guess it's better that I did fight it, though. 
it's another dragon, and it just nearly killed Leon. Um, and that's why we use Blink, folks! Yeah, just attack it. Just, let's kill it quickly. Um, now, I, I should probably heal Leon. To be honest. And no, Firon, you're supposed to go after Maria so that she can just make you kill it. Probably in one- well, maybe not one hit. This has as much HP as the Behemoth. This is like a real bitchin' dragon, actually. Just in general. <laughs> but... It can no more stand up to the usual than anything else. Which is to say, I give it about... Oh... One more turn after this one? I don't... I will probably not one-shot it. And you miss the Im most important one guy. Way to go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty low. I must have, like, fumbled pretty badly on my Berserk roll to do that little damage. Wow. I mean, it does have stupidly high defense, but even so, that's kind of impressive. Ah, that's a little bit better. <laughs> but it was also a critical hit. Wow. Okay, this is definitely something it would actually, actually be worthwhile to use the Blood Sword on. Which, I've nearly killed it now, so I'm not going to, but... You know, it actually has, well, the highest defense out of just about anything I've ever fought, actually. And a ton of HP. So, something to keep in mind, I suppose. Uh, I'll probably kill it this turn. Which means it actually lasted longer than I thought it would, mind you. Um, that should do it. Yep. Okay. And all that for Yochi's bow. Oh well. Now, I need to go into one of these rooms for the other stuff I want, unfortunately. I double checked and it is the unfortunate truth. Oh well. Is it this room? It is! The Dragon Armor! The Holy Lance! And most importantly of all, the Aegis Shield. The best shield in the game. This thing? Well, okay. Um, huh. Let's see if this actually changes anything. <laughs> it does have a, the highest uh, evasion percent. And it also protects against special attacks like Blaze. Does that actually, uh, no. Okay then. <laughs> Didn't really think so. I'm just curious now. Um. And if I throw that on there. Oh, oh wow. That is high. Um. <laughs> I could, hmm. What did he have? Power Vest? Um, wow. That is kind of insane. Okay, I actually want to put the Dragon's Armor on here. On him. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because 99 Evasion with Armor on, that's how good that shield is. That is really freaking good. Um, unfortunately, I don't- I never picked up the second best shield in the game. I don't know when the hell I missed it, but I did. So, you know, that happened. I guess. Can you wear dragon armor, I wonder? Probably not. Uh, well, that's not actually too bad, to be honest. Uh, with his lackluster- well, he's catching up on evasion, I guess. But, with his lackluster magic defense, that actually might be better to put on him. I mean, I need... You know what, sure, let, let's go with that. It'll probably work out well for me. Probably. Um, yeah. 
Anyway, now that we got that, we probably need to find another door for the way down. After we kill these assholes. And I did warn you ahead of time that this would be a long episode, right? The thing is, the thing is, I am, well, I'll just tell you straight up. I want to finish this in three more episodes, including, well, three or four, including this episode. I want to finish in the week that this episode is released, which is just next week for me, mind you. Uh, is this it? No. Okay, uh, where was I? Something, something, freeze rays, end of week, right. Um, the reason, you know, I don't care, I'm gonna keep talking. The reason I want to finish within that time span is twofold. First of all, it'll let me finish, well, first of all, I just really want the series to be over so I can start my next thing. Uh, actually, so it gets three reasons. Second of all, it'll finish within a... Uh, update cycle, which is really convenient for me. Um, just for how it would line up with everything else. And third of all, because it, my last episode should be on my birthday, which will be really nice. Um, we'll see how that works out. Hopefully I can hit it, and I should actually attack, because this is going to be a really long episode, with it, even without me... Well, to be fair, actually I am going to be doing a lot of cutting, but having said that, I'm up to 45 minutes, and wow. Editing really long episodes like this is actually really, really annoying for me too, so I'm sort of creating extra work for myself, but, but, I don't care. It'll be over! Found it. Okay. There are two things on this floor we care about, and this is the last floor of the Jade Passage, meaning we're coming to the end quite quickly here. Well, I already said that, but I mean the end of the Jade Passage specifically. Um... Right, so treasure chest. I'm pretty sure there's only two items on this level at all, so... Seriously? Seriously? How is that possible? After all this- No, that is impossible. I've sold so many stuff. The only explanation is it's something I have 99 of. Um... Oh. Actually, okay. Okay. Here's the thing. That box is a high potion. So... I did not know there was a high potion in this box, because it's not an item I care about. Um, wow. Okay, the Protect Ring! Is, I could actually put this on him, and I would be able to put arm, a helmet on him, but I don't really want to. Frankly, the I'd rather have the Power Armlet and Twisted Headband. At least for now. Because we still haven't gotten the best armor in the game. Which is stu so stupidly heavy that I'll be lucky if I can put one piece of it on someone. Uh, however, I can throw it on this guy. Uh, do I, I don't really want to put it on him. <laughs> I mean, obje it's objectively it's best on him because it'll help with his evasion. But I don't want to put it on him. Um... Right, I'm gonna put it on Guy, cause protection from death on the guy with the healing magic seems like a good idea. Also, it increases your magic defense a whole bunch. So, you know, that's nice. Anyway, the other item is right here. Yes, right here, like I was saying, and it is an elixir. 21, ha! Okay, and this is probably the end. Oh wow, I thought that was like a boss I didn't know about for a second there. It seems sort of convenient, but no, it's just a random Chimera Sphinx thing. Okay, through the door, the last door of the Jade Passage. And... Oh, this is level six. Shit. Or, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my original reaction of, oh shit, there's another floor. <laughs> oh well, this is the, actually the last floor, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. And, yeah. So, yeah. The last floor. The last, 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 last floor. For reals! And they just kicked Leon's ass. These things actually hit really hard, so that's not too surprising. I think that one's dead. Call it a hunch. And wow, I'm about to hit 50 minutes. Cyclone! I have a thing that does that, which, you know, that's actually more damage than I was expecting, I got to admit. It's still pretty negligible, though. I know Nihil Leon, thus robbing me of any chance I had of finishing in under 50 minutes. Oh well. Um, this is... yeah, this is the end. For sure. Yep. That little... Uh, except we need to fight the freaking dragon first. Of course. Of course! Freaking dragon. Let's use haste. Because why not? And let's use blink, because actually I just want to use blink. I could probably kill this dragon with a... If I was just using... Flare and attack with everyone. I could probably kill this dragon in two or three rounds. Three if I got unlucky. Of course, I can do that, which is kind of nasty, but not an immediate danger to me. As I said. Um, now use Flare and Protect and Attack. And... Not quite. Okay, it'll be dead this round, so let's use this, because why not? Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh wow, talk about overkill. <laughs> I probably could have just bes Well, actually no. I probably couldn't have one shot it with Berserk. I could have two shot it with Berserk for sure, though. And Berserk increased. That's what I was hoping would happen. Now, this telepad here leads to the final dungeon. In the game. I told you they strung along, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, they do. And we're gonna stop right here. Join me next time when Furion invades hell itself. The land of evil and pandemonium. And confronts, well... Not the Emperor, but the Emperor's final defenses! All this and more next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2 with Chaos Blue. And until then, have a nice day.